Welcome back to the Handyman Homestead. Hope everything is good for you and that you are growing something. Well, today we are going to talk about the squash plant. Basic maintenance and understanding some things about the squash plant that you can do and grow lots of squash this year. Let's get started. Now, while I was removing the mulch that I don't want in here, I noticed that I already have an ant bed inside. So I want to use organic only uh, in my gardening. So what I'm gonna use is some diatomaceous earth. Let me go ahead and show you this. Okay, so I'm gonna use diatomaceous earth and it kills uh, ants, crawl, any crawling in insects. As you know, your insects, they breathe through their exoskeleton and uh, they don't have lungs, but they breathe through their body. So what this diatomaceous earth will do, it's just a powder. And I'm going to use this sparingly, but it's just a powder. And uh, let's see if I can get it in focus. There it is. And what it does, it will. So what it does, it will coat the, the pores of their body and make them suffocate. Okay, so I'm just going to sprinkle this around. Try not to get it on the plant. If you can, if you do, it's not going to really hurt it. But I don't want to be covering up the leaves with this. So that's enough right there. Now I'm going to go ahead and put the mulch uh, straw on here and cover that up. Now, one of the things I want to do here is go ahead and harvest this fruit. Um, and I call them fruits of vegetable. But go ahead and, and harvest this vegetable here. I'm going to try to remove it as safely as I can without damaging the plant. And what this does, this will free up the plant to go ahead and start producing more. None of its energy is sent to the seed. This is the future of the, of the plant. And it will devote all of its um, energy into the uh, vegetable here. So... I want it to go ahead and focus more now on producing more vegetables. Alright friends, thank you so much for coming to my channel and watching my video today. I appreciate the love and the comments and the sharing that you do. Thanks for being faithful. Make sure you subscribe, ring the bell to make sure that you get every video that I put up and hopefully you've learned something today. If you have insight uh, you want to share something with me, please leave a comment. I will respond to all comments. I'm very active on my own channel. And I want to make sure that we do have that conversation that's needed because you may share some things that I need to know to better my garden experience. Well, this is Rick Patterson with The Handyman Homestead. Thanks so much for coming today. And again, go grow something.